we hear music, and that can only mean that the challenger Lopez is about to make his entrance into the ring. Here he comes. So here he is, Jose Luis Lopez, only 24 years old, but he's already got 38 wins. From Durango, Mexico, free-spirited boxer, compiled a pretty impressive amateur record as well, 18 and one. Made his professional debut New Year's Day 1989 with a win. Knocked out 15 of his next 16 opponents. And some say the best is yet to come for this young Mexican fighter. Certainly if he can pull off the upset tonight, he will be well on his way to the boxing spotlight as one of the bona fide champions. Here comes the champion quartet. Monitor and AB Stars Promotions in association with your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser. This Bud's for you present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the Mashantucket Pequot Tribal Nation Gaming and Athletic Commission, Chairman Robert Hayward, Vice Chairman Roy Butler, Commissioner William Hickey, Executive Director John Meskill, Attending Director John Burns. It is also sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, WBA Supervisor at Ringside, York Van Nixon Jr. It will be scored on the 10-point must system by the three judges assigned at ringside. They are Ricardo Duncan, William Hutt, and Philippe Verbeck. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, working in a world title bout for the 70th time, Steve Smoger. And now, once again, from Foxwoods Casino Resort of Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trimmed with silver letters and weighing in at 146 and one half pounds. In his professional career, he has 39 victories, 30 by knockout against three losses with one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, from Durango, Mexico, here is the challenger, the former WBO welterweight champion of the world, Jose Luis Lopez. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing purple and gold, and he weighed in at 146 pounds even. He has a perfect professional record of 34 victories without a loss, 29 by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Accra, Ghana, presenting the undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, Ike Bazooka Cortez. Jose, Ike. 
Jose. Nice hand for the champion. Smoker will give them their final All right. instructions. All right, guys, you were given your instructions at the way in both of English and Spanish. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Respect the bell. Touch them up. Win a sweat. Okay, let's go. Thank you, sir. Billy. Lopez in a moment of prayer, moments before the bout. Cortez set to defend his title for the seventh time. And here we go. Ike Bazooka Corte with the power of a bazooka. Strong left jab, and that's what he starts with. Corte, the champion in the purple and gold, the youngest of 27 brothers and sisters. That's right, 27 years old and the youngest of 27 brothers and sisters. And I think they're all here tonight. By the sounds of the recent ovation that he just got. Trying to take charge early here. Lopez countering back with a left. Corte, a great counter puncher. Good hand speed. Vicious left jab. Lopez covering up. Being careful, probably good strategy against a guy with the guns in the hands of Ike Corte. Corte throwing out that jab with a good snap, good power. Center of the ring. Good right, then back to the jab. Strong, Chris punches, doubles up on the left and scores. Lopez comes back. Lopez, too, with a pretty good jab. Corte a little bit quicker, lands right on the nose. Again, jab, following up with the right. Lopez back with a combination, blocked by Corte. Corte leading with a right that time. This for the WBA Welterweight Championship, scheduled for 12. Corte busy with that jab, and he's got a good one. Lopez just doing what he can to stay out of the way of that jab. Plenty of power behind that straight left. Corte mixing it up there. Lopez comes back with a couple of shots. Corte to the body, then a left to the head. Good combination inside. Corte finishing strongly in round one and an impressive opening round for the champion. Here we go, round two, Sandy Riceley with some advice for Lopez, who needs to do a better job at blocking that stinging left jab for Mike Corte. Can't afford to eat that all night. Ike 
Ike Corte looking for his 35th straight win. 29 knockouts. And Corte gets stunned. Lopez going in for double left hand. And Smoker's going to give him a standing eight count. It's how your gloves touch. Smoger telling Corte, your gloves, gloves touch the canvas. That constitutes a knockdown. So there you go with Corte clearly in charge. All of a sudden, Lopez with a sting shot. Corte goes down. Let's see if Lopez can follow it up and finish strongly here in round two. Could be a 10-8 round for the Mexican. Coite with plenty of poise. 34 fights. That happens to champions. Not about to panic, certainly. Good combination there. Corte back with a power punch. Both fighters throwing and landing there. Corte still working off the left jab. Throwing and connecting with the left jab. Lopez right there for him. So besides the knockdown, Lopez hasn't done much here in the second. Corte, once again, the busier boxer. Lopez not doing much except eating that Corte jab. Comes back with a shot there, blocked by the champion. Lopez throwing and missing, final seconds round two. And it ends with Lopez going over the top and missing. Here's the knockdown again. Lopez with... Here's a better angle of it. Watch Lopez with a left and a right, left to the chest, right hand. Almost more of a slip than a knockdown, but his glove did touch the canvas, and referee Smoger had no choice but to call it a knockdown. Doubt it was a 10-8 round, though, for Lopez because Corte came back strongly and really dominated the rest of the round behind that patented jab. Let's see what happens here in the third. Cortez, WBA welterweight championship on the line. It's scheduled for 12. Corte in the prime of his career, 27 years old. Actually, he'll turn 28 next month. Both of these fighters weighing in at roughly 146 pounds. Corte 5'8", Lopez 5'10". Lopez enjoying a two-inch reach advantage as well. So far, it hasn't meant much as Corte has been in control with that terrific jab and awesome punching power. This kid could hit. Thus the nickname, Bazooka Corte. Exchange of jabs, both missing, center of the ring. A battle of jabs pretty much so far through two plus rounds in this championship fight. Corte getting the best of it. 
Lopez doubling up with the left and landing. Corte just smiles, looks at him, and comes back and lands the jab at Will. There's three in a row, squarely on the nose of Lopez. And you've got to believe that Corte will set up a big right hand behind that jab, and that's what he's looking for. Lopez staying in, though, punching back and sometimes even scoring. But Corte has that jab all night. Lopez may be just 24 years old, but plenty of experience. 43 professional fights. He's won 39 of them. Lopez, good combination. Corte back with the jab. Lopez continuing to eat that jab. And another strong round for Ike Corte. Lopez tries to throw a combination and misses. Corte back with the jab. Lopez ends with a little flurry, but clearly another round for Ike Corte. Okay, bueno. Yeah? Okay, vamos al aire para adentro. Profundo, eso. Otra vez. Bien, vamos. Si se puede, Luis, va parejita, lo más yeah. necesito tirar más golpes, ¿eh? Sí. Doble, se no le ponga enfrente ahí. All right, gentlemen, let's go. Here we go in the fourth. Ike Corte defending his WBA welterweight championship. Coming off an April 18th win over veteran Ralph Tiger Jones. Thundering combinations took out Jones in five. We are here in the fourth tonight against Lopez, who should provide more of a challenge than his previous title defense. Lopez lands more than a third of his punches, 80% knockout ratio. Impressive young welterweight from Durango, Mexico, looking to make his mark here tonight. Trying to lift the WBA welterweight title from Ike Corte, who's never lost 34 fights. Lopez busy there, doubling up with the left. Corte comes right back with that with that jab. They go inside and trade punches now. Come out for time. Break me, me. Good, good. First move. So far, mostly a battle of jabs. Lopez not shying away from eating that jab to try to get inside and do some damage of his own, something he has been, for the most part, unsuccessful at so far. And it's more of the same here in the fourth. Corte using that jab, a vicious left jab, to pile up the points. Lopez, a straight forward, straight ahead fighter. You won't see him slipping punches like we witnessed earlier against Whitaker, but he lands a good combination there. First the left comes back with a right, and then Corte goes right back to the jab to fend off Lopez. 
But Lopez did get inside and did do some damage. He needs to do more of it. Throws a wild left hand and misses. Catches a right hand himself. Another good combination by Lopez who backs up Corte. Corte felt those punches, comes back with a jab. Lopez good counter. Good final minute for Lopez. He might have gotten himself back into this fight. Lopez, le estás dando toda la distancia. Lo que necesitas, métetele adentro a ver si lo puedo trabajar al cuerpo. Sí. Necesitas trabajarle al cuerpo un poquito. Andale, adentro se me hace que no están pesados con el jab. Métete, no le distancia para el jab. Good work by Lopez in that round. Here's an example. Good right. Followed up with a left. Good jab. Right hand. Backed up the champion. Did some damage. Corte back out with the jab, but it was Lopez on the attack and scoring. Yeah. And, and this is a very vamos. close fight. In fact, I have it even. So we head to round five. Good action here at Foxwoods for the WBA Welterweight Championship, a title that Ike Corte has held for several years now. Six title defenses, five of them by knockout. He's looking for his lucky seventh year tonight. It may take more than luck, though, to beat this kid from Durango, Mexico, Jose Luis Lopez, who continues to eat that jab. But last round, anyway, found a way to get inside and do some damage. Corte using that left jab, stinging left jab. Lopez leading with the right, gets inside, tries to go to the body. Don't punch, don't punch, step clean. Very good, very good. Corte looking ahead to showdowns with perhaps Pernell Whitaker, who he would love to get in the ring with early in 98. Felix Trinidad, perhaps, and maybe even Oscar De La Hoya. Scored with a big right there. But none of that happens unless he takes care of business here tonight and takes out Lopez. Punch out, punch out, your hands loose. Punch Home out, fighters busy out. inside. Get on a break, okay, that's good, very good. Step back, step back. Forte firing and moving. Good lateral movement there. And once again, they tie up. Corte with a right hand, Lopez comes back and misses. Corte back to the jab, scoring and landing that jab. Lopez misses again. Corte covers up, Lopez goes to the body. Might not be bad strategy. Again, Lopez going to the body, but eats a jab. Corte sitting right there, saying almost as if, go ahead, you can't hurt me. Break, step back, step back, bell's coming, bell's coming. That'll do it for round five.
Cámbiale ya, mira, obedéceme ya y al hígado y luego ya vaya arriba, porque está esperando. Okay. Te está esperando cuando le tiras abajo para darte la derecha arriba. Cámbiasela. The advice from both corners, Sandy Risley in the corner of the challenger, Lopez. Daniel Odomitten, the trainer for Ike Corte, a man who's been with Corte since his amateur days, 14 years old. They've been together for 13 years. Corte going back to the jab. Now inside, uppercut right. Very good. Smoger breaks them up. Lopez doubling up on the left, blocked by Corte. Good combination there, but again, Corte quick enough to block it, comes back and counters with a jab. Corte, an excellent counter puncher. Does so many things well, as you would expect a 34-0 champion to do. Good left hand there, backs up Lopez. Lopez comes back, right hand, lands softly on the side of his face, body to Corte. Corte comes back with a jab. Good combination by Lopez. Corte again landing the jab. Lopez with punching power as well. Good straight right hand, good combination inside, but Corte just fires right back, unaffected. That was impressive. Look at the shots Lopez is landing. Corte seems to be totally unfazed. Comes right back with the jab. Plenty of poise, patience. Just stands right in there and throws that jab and counters with a big right hand. But Lopez stands in there and keeps on throwing. And we may have a fight on our hands here in round six. Both fighters landing bombs in the sixth. But neither one going anywhere. Standing in and throwing punches. Flat-footed, center of the ring. Left hand by Corte. And Lopez counters. Left and a right. Some of them partially blocked. One or two getting through, though. Corte, again, squarely landing the jab. Lopez just smiles and comes back with a good left to the body. Corte with a jab. Double jab. Great action here in round six. Big right hand by Corte. Lopez comes back with the left, and Corte counters with a combination of his own. Best round of the fight. And pretty tough to score. Both fighters landing some big punches in that round. Okay, let me get a look. Let me get a look. Okay. All right. Jose Luis, halfway home. Okay, media, baby. Media. Okay, baby. ¿Qué pasó? Ice, ice, the yellow. No, no, it's no okay. Time. It's okay. It's no, no, bueno. Okay, okay. okay. Otro round. Okay. Otro round. Es el octavo, Luis. Es el okay. Sí. Bueno. Sí. Sí. Mejor, Luis, este round así. Porque si no es la decisión de él toda, tienes oportunidad todavía de levantar, pero no dejes de tirar golpe. Sí, Vamos, hágalo. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Sí, sí. Ahora le puedes, son esfuerzos del campeonato, José Luis. Ándele, tantos planes que tenemos ahí, ándele. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos, through this WBA welterweight championship fight. Ike Corte, purple and gold, defending his championship against Jose Luis Lopez. I've got it 58-57 for Corte.
Both welterweights, center of the ring, trading jabs. Lopez a little bit busier than he's been, coming off a good round in the sixth. Corte piling up points. That terrific jab. Lopez kind of made for that jab. Comes straight in. Can't get out of the way. A perfect target for Corte and that penetrating and stinging jab. But Lopez busier now. Combination there partially deflected. Lopez not afraid to stand in there. He's proven that he can take that jab and apparently willing to do that to get inside and do some damage. He did that very nicely last Don't round. Punch. Step out, step, step clean, very good. Lopez with good hand speed. Don't forget the challenger with Don't five punch. Don't punch. more step, wins step. than the champion. Three years younger, but with five more wins, 39, three and one, Corte 34 and 0. They trade punches now again. Corte with the jab, looking to counter. Lopez trying to solve the champion coming in. Combination there, upstairs, downstairs, blocked by Corte. So was that right? But Lopez is busy. Good combination there, one or two of those slip through. Corte setting everything up behind that terrific left jab. Good exchange there. Both fighters trading punchers, center of the ring, as we count down the final oh, seconds good, to round seven. No, 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 Moa, Moa. Because I'm not busy. Oh, control, I'm not going to be here. Can't allow it, you know, do she? But you have to look out, it pays, don't let it be back here. Can't allow it, I can't play the phone, two months, and no point. She can't allow it, it's one of the phone, it's one of the phone, it's one of the phone, it's one of the phone. Okay, tell me to play, tell me to play. Okay, see? But I'll go to the right and the right, the three rectors, rapid. O uno, dos rápido, Luis. Pero algo hay que hacer, no nomás ponerle la cara porque se ya vea mucho. Vamos, Luis, ándele. All right, gentlemen, let's go. Here we go, round eight. Starts off. Lopez with the left jab. He's the challenger in the blue trucks. Looking for the upset here tonight in Connecticut. Corte. Going to the body, then upstairs. Don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Lopez don't punch, comes step in, back. Very good. Land with an uppercut. The referee Smoger is going to break them up. for both fighters if Lopez can pull off the upset. It sets up some big money fights with some of the other top welterweights in the division. Probably a rematch with Corte. In the meantime, Corte has his sights set on Pernell Whitaker, Trinidad, De La Hoya. Talk about big money matchups. 
So the stakes are high here in the final five rounds as Corte lands a big right hand. Seems to have little effect on Lopez. Both of these fighters proving earlier here tonight they can take a shot. Corte, combination, block. Lopez throws the combination. Corte blocking. It comes back with the jab. Jabbing again. Lopez going to the body. Lopez taking the fight to Corte in this round, but Corte just putting out that jab and trying to fend off the challenger. Lopez combination inside, blocked by Corte. Good hand speed, but not quite the speed of Corte, who has no problem in blocking most of those punches. Some redness now on the forehead of Lopez. Not cut, but there is that danger. At least it appears that way. Good title fight as advertised. We head to round nine. Ike Cortez seemingly ahead, but perhaps not by much. That's up to the judges. One from Panama, one from Connecticut, and one from Belgium. Corte has come a long way to defend this championship here tonight from Ghana in Africa. Lopez busy now, countering, going to the body and on top. But Corte, again, successful in blocking most of those blows. Corte countering with the jab. Lopez leading with a jab. Those shots blocked by the champion. Both fighters showing their power there. Corte landing with two good shots and then a short left inside, short right inside. Let's see if Corte can follow it up with some power punches here. Instead, he'll go back to the jab. It's worked for him all night. Patient, setting up perhaps a devastating right or left hook. Power in both hands, so you never know where the punches are coming from. Although he'll tend to throw the right hook set up by the left jab. Lopez back with a straight right hand. And some swelling now under the left eye of the champion. 
within three rounds. That shows you the punching power of Mike Corte. Strong left hand there. Didn't happen tonight, because Lopez can take a punch. Good exchange here. Lopez, though, getting the worst of it. Good round for Ike Corte. We approach round 10. The champion Ike Thank Corte you. clearly you. in charge, but he knows he's in a fight here. Jose Luis Lopez, a dangerous challenger with good power in both hands, but it's Corte behind a vicious left jab that has put him in control as he hopes to successfully defend his title for a seventh time here tonight. Good combination there by Corte. Then he follows it up. Two more jabs that score. probably the least known of the spectacular fighters in his division, but he hopes to change that within the next 18 months, starting tonight with an impressive win over Lopez, which he hopes will lead to dates and wins against the Whitakers, the De La Hoyas, the Trinidads. But he's got some business to take care of here. Lopez still right in front of him. Throwing punches. A few even are slipping through. But Corte landing the greater number of punches, certainly the jab. That's where it all starts for the champion. Lopez combination inside. Good exchange there. Lopez knows he needs to do something dramatic here in the later rounds. Let's see if he can pull it off. combination blocked by Corte goes back to the jab and here comes Lopez again take the fight to Corte but eating too many of those jabs Lopez busy on the inside good combination there good straight right hand lands on the nose of Corte Corte back good exchange here both fighters landing big punches Lopez with a big Crowd on me. their feet. Right, come on, come on, let it go. Bell, is that the bell? Great action. And a round ten. Is that the bell? Is that the bell? Yes, yes. Si se hace, Luis. Okay. Nada más pegue y dobla que para contragolpe de él. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ahí está, Marita. Hielo, hielo. Okay. Hielo, hielo. Ahorita tú estoy hielo, Luis. Luisito, si cierra estos dos rounds, la gana. 
Luisito. Si Here's the action with Lopez coming on end of the round. Lands a good right hand there. Misses with the left. Cristiano pega tan duro él con los golpes que le ha dado el cuerpo. But comes back with a good straight right hand that catches Corte backing up. ¿Sí me entiendes, Luis? Sí, señor. Pega y dóblate para que no te dé él. Different angle now. Vamos, es el campeonato, Luis. Impressive flurry of punches by Lopez, who needed to do something dramatic to perhaps steal the round. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's give, let's give him the round. Even with that, I've got the champion ahead by three with six minutes to go in this WBA welterweight fight. But Corte dominant earlier in that last round. I'm not sure if Lopez did enough to win the round, but he was impressive in the final 15 seconds. Neither fighter tiring here in the 11th. It is a little warm under the lights in this theater here at the Foxwoods Resort and Casino. Ledger, Connecticut, halfway punch, between New York steps, City steps. and Boston, Massachusetts. WBA Welterweight Championship on the line. It's scheduled for 12. We're in the 11th. Corte behind the jab. Lopez combination. He stands it down. Goes Corte. His career, Lopez trying to end it. Corte trying to buy time, staying away, getting out the jab. Now Lopez with a combination against the ropes. Lopez poised, measuring up his fighter. Corte loses his mouthpiece. The champion dazed without a mouthpiece catches a big left hand. What a turn of events here in the 11th. Ike Corte holding on. He's got a ways to go, though, here in the 11th. Lopez looking for that one big shot. Lands a big left. Corte still with some bounce in his feet, but he's clearly hurt. Big left hand. Lopez catches a right. Corte back with another right, fighting without his mouthpiece. Final seconds, round 11. Can Corte survive the round? A rare sight here, Ike Corte, not used to being on his back. The undefeated champion in a little bit of trouble. But there's no panic in the corner as Corte is set to go out for the final three minutes of what should be a fantastic finale. Let's see what happens. all of a sudden close again. Corte appears to have some spark back in his legs. And let's see what happens if Lopez 
first catches him. Strong 11th for Lopez, but it appears from the experts here at ringside, he'll still need a very strong 12th or need to stop Corte to win. Corte on his horse, on his toes, moving. Lopez trying to cut off the ring. Forget you had the knockdown in the 11th, 10 8 round for Lopez. You had a what could have been a slip earlier in the fight, another 10 8 round for Lopez. Corte in control for most of them, but what may be the deciding factor was this devastating knockdown and nearly knockout in the 11th. Let's take another look. Lopez, good overhand right on the chin, comes back with a left. And down goes Corte. Quickly back up, but clearly hurt. Lasted the rest of the round, got his legs back in the between the 11th and 12th, and then pretty much stayed on his bicycle throughout the 12th. Neither fighter landing big blows in the 12th, but Lopez, the aggressor, maybe enough to steal the 12th. Not so sure if it was enough to steal the fight. Don't forget, Corte is the champion, and you got to take the title away from the champ. Did Lopez do enough? We're about to find out. Either way, an entertaining and exciting fight here for the 1400 on hand. Corte corner to our left here at ringside, stunned when they saw their champion go down. Go. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. William Hutt scores the bout. 113, 113, he has it even. Ricardo Duncan scores the bout, 116 to 112. Philippe Verbeck scores the bout, 115 to 114 for the winner by majority decision. And still, WBA welterweight champion of the world, Ike Bazooka Corte. Well, we knew it would be close. And Corte will retain his WBA welterweight championship. From Jose Luis Lopez. And yes, he certainly does deserve a round of applause. What a performance the kid from Durango, Mexico put on tonight. Suffered his fourth loss, but has nothing to be ashamed of. Ike Corte wins his 35th fight, seventh successful title defense. But he got a scare in doing it.